Tonight in Northeast Florida, another push to achieve a long-term effort. Local leaders testified at Capitol Hill before the House Natural Resources Subcommittee this week, once again asking to rename our region a national heritage area. I was very honored to testify before the committee. And um, what comes out of it, hopefully, is we get a mark markup of our National Heritage Area Bill for the nation's oldest port. Kathy Fleming is executive director at the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. It's one of the iconic images of Northeast Florida. But as you know, it's not the only impressive landmark and not the only reason that she is pushing Congress to name this a National Heritage Area. She believes that designation would tell the world... Our unique culture here in the First Coast region is really significant in terms of its maritime history and its cultural uniqueness and its specialness to America. Fleming joined Congressman John Rutherford in speaking to the House Natural Resources Subcommittee this week. They are fighting for H.R. 2017, the nation's oldest port national heritage act. Representative Rutherford said he's optimistic the committee will vote on the act soon and send it to the House floor. He also said Fleming and the Lighthouse team have been working tirelessly for years to establish a national heritage area on the First Coast. There is bipartisan support with Congressman Al Lawson and Michael Waltz supporting it, too. It's not a national park. It's not regulatory at all, and it just says this is a special area where human activity has been shaped by geography, in this case the sea, and has become very unique to America. This is the first region that a lot of things happened, and it stretches from Nassau, Duval, St. John's, and Flagler counties, which is small as these things go, and it says this region is very unique and very special. Fleming says, in addition, the designation would give hundreds of thousands of dollars per year to a community group. That group would decide on using the money for things like special projects, tourism, grants, and preservation. And it also allows us to reach for other grants that maybe federal government or that foundations have that want to give to someplace that's recognized nationally as special. And Kathy Fleming uh, points out that the NHA is also an economic enterprise zone. So that means uh, for every dollar of federal funding, every one dollar, the area generates in general another $5.50.